Hello everyone. Today I will be teaching you how to do cones with a flag. A very basic skill, something that everyone will need going into choreo or just learning how to manipulate your flag. So we'll start at flat. Again, as the same as the drop spins, these are something you're going to need to do on both sides. For now, we'll start here. And this consists of four angles. So we go out, angle one. What it looks like from the side is my top arm is straight out. My bottom arm is about at my belly button. So angle one, I'll show you what it looks like from this side. One. Our next is angle two. So we went one and, so make sure you pass through and, two. So from the front, it looks like one and two. From the side, one and two. So notice the angle of this. Most people's problems end up being too flat. There's not a whole lot of people that end up too straight. Uh, so make sure this bottom arm is straight out right from about here, your chest, straight out, bottom tape. Our top hand is above our forehead. So angle one and two. Going into angle three, there's a very important pass through. So we go one and two and flat at your eyes, three. So this three is straight down. My top hand is at my forehead at the bottom tape. My bottom hand is going straight out. So this is angle three from the side. What it looks like from here is one and two and three. So our last angle is angle four. So we did one and two and three and four. So how we get there is we start front, we cross our arms. So now I have this window here that I'm looking through. We're all nice and crossed. And then we uncross. So we're back at our nice shoulder hip position. Smoothly from the front, it'll look like one and two and three and four. From the side, one and two and three and four. So once we have all those four angles, we're gonna work on putting it together a little smoother. So all together from the front, it'll look like one, two, three, four, just like that. From the side, one, two, three, four. Just making sure you're drawing circles on the top and the bottom. Now a good exercise for this is what we're gonna call the cone exercise. So do it along with me, rewind the video if you need help. We start five, six, five, six, seven, eight, and hit, two, three, four, 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 hit, two, hit, two, hit, two, hit, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to the 45, three, four and hit, two, 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 three, four, hit, two, hit, two, hit, two, hit, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold, two, three, four, hit, two, three, four, and hit, two, three, four and hit, two, three, four and hit, two, three, four, hit, two, hit, two, hit, two, hit, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and turn, two, three, four and hit, two, three, four and hit, two, three, four and hit, two, three, 
four, and hit. Two, three, four, hit. Two, hit. Two, hit. Two, hit. Two, hit. Two cone. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one. Two, three, four, and hit. 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 Two, three, four, hit. Two, hit. Two, hit. Two, hit. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very nice, very nice. That is definitely something you should practice often. Cones are a fundamental part of color guard. Some things to notice as I did my cone exercise. My hits were very strong. There is an obvious pause in between each hit, but it was very smooth, all connected for my smooth cones. Another thing you might wanna keep in mind is as you're doing your cones, this third right here should stay right in the center of your body. So as the flag moves, this still stays relatively the same. I'll demonstrate that and then I'll let you go. So keep your eye on that third. It stays in relatively the same place. Again, just drawing circles, top and bottom. I wish you guys all the best of luck. And if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comments and I'll do my best to get to you. You got this.